Akam Botan, and that is uh, a greeting in the Romo um, culture and language, and that means hi, how are you doing? So let's say it again. Akam Botan, Akam Botan. And today, I know you guys miss me, but today we're going to be talking about a good, 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 a good people today, and that is the Romo ethnic group. Now I apologize. I've been on the road. I've been doing a lot of things. Uh, you know, been going a lot of places, as you probably have seen, and I've been uh, taking care of uh, life things. So I'm back now. We're back uh, to the history. I've been traveling. You're on back, steady, grounded now. You're back to the history. So today we'll be talking about one of my favorite ethnic groups. Like I always say, you know, I, I wish I could do the the dance uh you know i'm trying to shake my my shoulders and see what happens but who knows i'm probably not as good as some people from the aromo ethnic group and we'll be talking about the aromos today which i love 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 so much so the aroma ethnic group is a uh, ethnic group that lives in ethiopia um and they are a kushite speaking people in east africa now the kushite speakers have inhabited east africa or actually northeast eastern africa and eastern africa for a very 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 long time and as long as recorded history has been around so probably the beginning and a very very longer long long time ago so the aroma the aroma are very you know very very ancient they're a very ancient ethnic group and there are several groups that um there's several groups that are similar and uh, a lot of people think come from the romo or you know they have uh a lot of similarities together and these groups are you know uh closely related like somalis and the romo they're very closely related they actually share uh a lot of different words and phrases from, from the languages and there's also uh, similarities in appearance and culture as well um, as well as the Afar and a couple of other different uh, ethnic groups but they're all under the Kushite people so it makes now, sense. Now the Romo make up 50% of the population of Ethiopia, the Ethiopian Empire and they are found in every region except for um, Gander in Ethiopia and they also found in neighboring countries such as Somalia and Kenya. Now the Oromo have a very, 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 very rich culture and one highly developed self-sufficient system which has influenced every aspect of Oromo life is called the Gada system. Now the, the Gada system is a system that is organized in the Oromo society into groups and in these different groups they uh, assume different responsibilities in society and in every eight years there is a cycle of, of changing of responsibility in what a man or woman uh, can can do. And it is, uh, you know, the Gada system has guided religion, social, political, and economical life of the of Romo for many years and has also um, factored into their philosophy, art, history, and the method of timekeeping as well, which is a very big thing for uh, a Romo. And I, that was really something interesting for me to learn as well. And the activities in life of each and every member of the society are guided by the Kada. And it is it is the law of the society and a system by which the Romo administer, defend their territory rights, and also maintain and guard their economy, um, uh, their economy and through which all their aspirations are fulfilled. So the Gada system is very, very important and was more so important uh, in, in earlier years to the Oromo. And the Gada system has served as the basis of the democratic political system for the Oromo. Now under the Gada system, the power belongs to the people and the laws that are made and uh, the, you know who administers the affairs for the nation, all this power belongs to the people and it's a very democratic system. And every male member of the society who is of age and of the Kada grade has um, full rights to elect and to be elected as well. And all the people have the right to air out their views at any time in any public gathering without fear of, of, of death or being, you know, ridiculed. Well, you're going to be ridiculed, but, um, you know, as far as death threats and things of that nature. So let's break down the Kada system and how it works. So the Kada grades have seven to 11 grades. And this is only due because some people die before they get to a certain age and reach a certain grade. So some people might make it to uh, the fifth, sixth grade, the seventh grade, and things of that nature. Because if they die when they're 40, they are at a certain grade. Because as we, as I said, as we stated, the Kada system works on every eight years, so zero to eight, eight to 16, so on and so on and so on. So 
The Gadai grades are changed every eight years, like I uh, expressed to you, and the Aromo man passes from one stage to the next and his duties and way of life and society for instance, changes. For instance, well. during the first four stages of the Gada system, which are zero to eight, as I explained, uh, years old, 18 to 16 years old, etc., etc., going up, you know, in increments of, of eight and in age, the individuals learn war tactics, aroma history, uh, politics, rituals, laws, and, you know, administration. Um, over a period of 24 years these things are all learned within the first 24 years and you know throughout different ages you have the opportunity to get married uh, when you're a certain age and you reach a certain stage of the Kada system and things of that nature so when they entered the Kada class or Luba at the age of uh, uh, around 39 to 40 years old around let's just say 40 years old because increments of eight right uh, they have already acquired all the necessary knowledge to handle the responsibilities of administering the country and the celebration of rituals so they have learned everything they need to learn as a man um, not everything but they, they've learned a lot enough to be able to sustain the culture the Romo culture um, as far as uh, uh, um, ceremonies rituals uh, you know uh, the religion and being able to support the, the the ethnic group and the tribe and being able to support them uh, you know their mothers and families hunting things of that nature so it ends with the partial retirement of the whole group of elders and you know the elders obviously are at a certain age range in the uh, Kada system um, and the elders usually at the end of the Kada system or towards you know when they get older they are usually the advisories or the um, uh, like you know part of the, uh, the, the 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 advisory council and they're the ones that make the rules for a lot of the nation or, or um, can make a lot of the laws and things of that nature now there also is three main religions uh, in the Oromo ethnic group and it's the traditional Oromo ethnic I mean uh, the Romo religion and that uh, their God would be Wak and then there's Islam and the Christian religion um, you know as of recently in the last couple hundred years that have been adapted into the Romo ethnic group and before the introduction of the Christian and, and Islam the Romo people practiced their own religion as I stated and they believed in Wak and the Romo Wak is one and the same for all and he is the creator of everything of life he's an omnipresence he's infinite he can do and undo anything he is very pure and intolerant to injustice and crime and sin and falsehood and the Romo people also have a rich 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 folklore and oral tradition of of, of you know walk and music and arts as well uh, with the Romo ethnic group and and um, and their religious views on Wak. now because of where the Romo live at they have a very favorable climate and rich soil for many 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 types of crops um, that and that are cultivated in that area and normally there is little need for irrigation uh, where the Romo live at normally one of one uh, and sometimes maybe two crops can be harvested harvested annually from the same field among the major foods that they do produce the aromo do produce uh, being an agricultural ethnic group at some point they were nomads and here and there they're nomads but majority of our uh, agricultural ethnic group and have been doing agriculture for a very 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 long time um, they have crops such as cereals like wheat barley teff sorghum corn millet um, and many other things of that nature fiber crops like cotton root crops um, such as potatoes sweet potatoes yams uh, uh, inset and pulses like peas um, beans chickpeas lentils and things of that nature oil crops such as flax fruit trees such as oranges mangoes avocado banana lemon pineapple peach and spices such as onion garlic um, and ginger as well and at various uh, different kinds of uh, vegetation such as okra and, and, and uh, vegetables of that nature now the main cash crop for the aromos is coffee and chat and chat if you don't know what chat is chat is a stimulant uh, shrub and it stimulates your body and in the Romo country um, coffee is also said to come from this area originally and this is the original area of coffee and has been you know exported out through the rest of the world and this is the home and base of where coffee comes from uh, if you've never had Ethiopian coffee as I always say you should try it you know it's delicious I mean it's the best coffee I've ever had in my life I feel so uh, definitely try it 
and the Romo clothing is very very nice uh, the women usually wear um, um, uh, well, the one thing that I can't say that for me at least it definitely lets me know when somebody's Romos when they wear the the head uh, piece that they wear with the aroma flag on it the colors in the tree and usually there's like it's in a triangle shape and it comes in front of the eyes sometimes on one triangle shape over here one triangle shape and the biggest one in the middle and sometimes just in the middle and uh, the aroma women are very very um, uh, I think are very famous for that because I really 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 love their cultural outfits I mean I love it when they're swinging their hair and you know it's just so beautiful so the Romo the Romo culture is very very traditional and very very old um, and has very very um, deep deep roots and traditions uh, in East Africa as well now we must understand that the Romo there are some Romo that would like to have uh, a Romia in their own country and uh, there was uh, conflict between different ethnic groups um, in Ethiopia at one point and the Romo would like to some Romo not I'm not saying all Romo but some Romo would like to have their own uh, country a Romia and uh, their own land back and there's some conflict there so there is definitely I've the, the Roma I met they were very very proud and very very happy to be a Roma and um, a Romo and I really 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 like the Roma ethnic group and I think that um, you know I hope for prosperity for them I hope anything that they're looking for they can get and we can all come to terms and you know all of us as black people we can um, you know work through things and, and and try to get on a level ground so this was a very 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 nice um, uh, this is a very very nice thing for me to talk about today because I really like the Romo and I when I first found out about the Romo I was um, I actually met uh, one of my current friends now but I didn't know who the Romo were and I'm so glad that I do now because uh, they're very beautiful like I said they have very uh, beautiful traditional dressing uh, you know clothing man and woman and very strong spirited uh, people you should check out the ethnic group and maybe you can go find some Romo people where you live at so as always today we learned about another ethnic group from the motherland and from uh, you know from a fellow um, African you know in this world African American and to a fellow African in this world um, I want to say to all black people around the world yo one love be very very safe out here um, and yo know your history know your culture know your politics and to all my people as always yo I'm out one love peace Oh, <laughs> 
What's up, what's up? Hey! Shalom! What up? Hi! Happy, Happy birthday! birthday.